Welcome everyone. This is Michael from the Marx Group Live, and this is a super focused do it fast lesson on creating tasks in Zoho projects. After this video is over, please feel free to email us at support at marxgrouplive.com for any questions on this topic or on anything else Zoho. Also, be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users and helping us to improve our video library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly one thing, how to create a task in Zoho projects in the shortest possible time. In this demo, I'm running Firefox on Windows 10, but much of what you see will also work with other operating system and browser combinations. Let us know if you run into any snags. For this video, I'll assume that you already have access to Zoho projects and are already somewhat aware of project management principles. I will also assume that you have already created a project in Zoho Projects. Now, immediately after we set up a project in Zoho Projects, the first screen we get is this one. This is actually the Tasks tab, and it makes some sense for Zoho to start a project here. From the Tasks tab, we can add a milestone, add a task list, add a task, import tasks, or even add a task via an email message. We have other videos in this series where we discuss other options here. For now, we will focus on simply creating a task. We're going to start by clicking on the Add Task button, where we see the following window come up. Now, because this is a Do It Fast lesson, we're going to leave the standard layout for tasks exactly as it is. Once again, check out our video library for a video on just that topic. Now, the first thing we need to do is set a name for this task. A description is useful, but not required initially. If you're building your project in phases and you plan to come back for later elaboration, you can leave this blank for now. You must associate the task to a task list. The default task list in Zoho Projects is the general internal task list. That's just a default dumping area. The fact that it's internal means that only members of your project team will be able to see the task. To give access to an external client, you can set this to the external general task list, which means that your team and your client will be able to see the task. In another video, we'll show you how to create, edit, and delete task lists. You can add files in this window. There's a maximum of 10 individual files, but each file can have as many pages as you wish, more or less. You can either drag a file directly onto the task window, or you can click on the file attachment area and get this window. Once again, we can drag a file directly onto that space, or we can click here to get a standard upload file picker. We can also select files from a Zoho work drive. A bit farther down, we can set five key pieces of information about the task. First up, we can assign the task to a member of our project team, or we can leave the task unassigned. The set work button over here on the right is discreetly tucked away but that belies its power. When I click on set work, I can specify the work of this task in three different ways. First, I can specify the number of hours per day that this task should be worked on. When I specify the start date and the end date in a few moments, Zoho will calculate the total number of hours for the task. Or I can specify the work percentage per day in which case Zoho will take a fraction of the business day and allocate that to this task. Finally, I can specify the actual number of work hours that I think the task will take, and Zoho will calculate the number of days I've calculated to the task and figure out how many hours per day the assigned resource or resources will be working on the task. Exactly which of these three options is the best fit for any particular task depends upon a large number of factors, 
I encourage you to experiment with these three options and get in touch with us if you're not happy with your explorations. Next, we have the start date and the due date. My preference is to start with the due date and work backwards. Zoho allows you to specify an actual end date, or it can allow you to specify a certain number of days or hours until the task is due. If you think that leaves the start date up to the values that you've set in the set work area and the due date, you're right. The start date, due date, and work specification are all related to each other. When you change one of these values, it is likely to have an effect on the other two. You should be ready to dance with these three values for a bit until you've become familiar with their interrelations. And finally, we can set the priority of the task. This is a very agile kind of thing to include, since it assumes that not everything is going to be done precisely on schedule and that some things are more important to deliver than others. There are four different priority levels here. And when we set that priority, we have only one more choice to make. We can click on Cancel to give up all the work we've done creating this task. We can click on Add More to save this task and start entering a new one. Or we can click on Add and now find ourselves in the task window where we can make the transition from setting up the task to actually working on it. In most cases, a project manager will set up the tasks while team members will be logging the hours and working within the task screen that you see here. And that's how we create a task in Zoho Projects. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or for questions that you may have about Zoho, email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. And thanks for watching.